ma è stato che non stavo bene a casa, non ero capace di mangiare, questa tosse, sembrava a volte da soffocarmi, meno male che c'era mio marito, mi ha battuto dietro la schiena, se no morivo. Dopo insomma mio marito mi ha portato l'olio po, l'olio po insomma tutta la notte è stato lì con me, mi hanno ricoverato, l'hanno insomma è andato a casa. Dopo il giorno dopo è venuto lì, mi ha portato la roba e stava bene. Dopo come è successo la storia che continuavo a telefonare a casa, il telefono rispondeva non è raggiungibile. Hanno chiamato i carabinieri, hanno sfondato la porta e non so se l'hanno trovato nel letto per terra mio marito, non lo so. Quando vado a casa di qui se sto bene, una bella giornata così, vado al cimitero. A pensarti su, di notte penso e ne da piangere. Meno male, guarda che sono qua, quasi in tempo. I feel like I am learning how to pray in a completely different way. Not only pray for the people here, but also the people at home and praying for my patients' families because they're not the only ones affected. They're worried that when they go home, will they infect their family? Will their family infect them? She lost her husband, she couldn't get to him, and she didn't get to say goodbye. Last time she talked to him, he was fine, and then now she doesn't know anything, and she's here waiting to go home to figure out what she's going to do. I can't even think about how she's feeling right now, but she's still strong. She's still helping the other patients in the ward, and that's encouraging in itself. Yesterday, some of our patients were crying. They were just in the fetal position, crying, talking to their family under their blankets, sobbing. And today we've seen a lot more where they've gone out in the sun. We had four of our six patients that were in the ward out walking around, talking to each other. It made me feel so emotional that I've been able to help bring them the relief that they need with this team. Christ has called us to show the love that he has for them, pray for opportunities to be able to share with them the love of Christ and how he can heal them no matter what happens. He's our hope and our future. He is everything 